This is Inside Heart Candy Football with head coach Rance Gillespie and your host, Doc Ayers. Recorded in Studio 604B at the New Heart College and Career Academy. Here's your host, Doc Ayers. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Inside Heart County Football. We're joined by Coach Rance Gillespie. Coach, Monroe area. Weird ball game. When you kick off, they run it back, get the lead, and then missed opportunities. Yeah, we we had several, but the game didn't start like we wanted it to with the uh, with the opening kickoff. But you know, we uh, we drove the ball down and um, and we're able to put together a couple of things, and then we have a, uh, a ball that's batted twice that they uh, that they pick off, uh, and we get a uh, get a kick, get a break on a kick, and uh, uh, Tucker put it in a good place. Simeon goes in, makes a good play, get another opportunity there. Um, we end up with a with a turnover, uh, you know. So uh, a couple of turnovers that that hurt us, but uh, you know. When you look at the numbers, you know it felt like at times that uh, that we weren't doing a whole lot offensively, but we almost had 400 yards yeah. in offense. You know, so um, we just got to find a way to finish uh, some of those uh, some of those drives and uh, and and finish with points on the board. And is it just is it a case of having to be too perfect because of skills? You know, we don't have the apparently don't have the speed that a lot Monroe does. We don't have the feel flipper, unless it's Deacle. Well, we we've got we've got good players. We we really do, and, and we just got to uh, got to find a way to to make the plays. Uh, and and you know you can see that we have good players because they make plays. But the ones that are difference makers, well, you know, it's just uh, you know it's kind of like in, in in baseball when a when a guy gets a, a double and two guys behind him, you know, strike out. Yeah, it's uh, just a missed opportunity, and uh, and that's sometimes that's the way uh, I feel like our our uh, offense has been this year. You know, we we've, we've made plays, we've uh, we've moved the ball, uh, we've done uh, done good things, and uh, then we can't you know seem to finish it at, uh, at some times where we need to need to finish. And uh, you know, I thought defensively uh, we did a good job containing the quarterback. Quarterback, we said you know going into the game was a really good player, and we did a good job. Kept him under uh, hold, kept. Kept holding, him under wraps. Yeah, holding him uh, to a uh, to, to a minimum, and then uh, you know the back is a really good player as well. So uh, you know we we had a, a, a blocked punt there, and you know it, it, all the way down to the wire. Uh, you know our kids continued to play hard, and um, and and we had opportunities all the way up until you know time ran out. I mean we get an onside kick, you know uh, you, late late in the game there. You got it. You got a chance. I know there's one missed, touch, missed throw in the fourth quarter. You throw, throw one, so that makes it 28-21, and you got a chance there late to come down and tie it. Right, yeah, exactly. All right, let's look at the first half. And as we said, it does not get off to the good start. Kick, kick it deep. No, and they, they've, got, uh, they've got a lot of speed on their team, and uh, the kid hits the crease, and uh, we, uh, we compromise our lane there. And, uh, just uh, you know, he he does a good job uh, of fitting the crease, and they do a good job of, of blocking it uh, for him uh, on the return. So, uh, but you know, we've got to got to respond, and uh, Durante does a great job great right job. here. And uh, you know, because so so many times when that happens, and uh, you get a pin on your side, it, it just kind of sets a pace for the uh, mm -hmm. for the yeah. whole game, and. Uh, you know, we get a get a good return, get it out to uh, get it out to midfield, and uh, then uh, you know, O'Neill puts one up there to uh, to JB and uh, close to uh, close to making a play there yeah. as well. Uh, you mentioned Durante, uh about forty yard average per kick return Friday night. Did yeah, a great he, job. He had a had a really good night. Uh, Durante was a guy that that uh, that we had selected as our offensive player of the game. Uh, thought that uh, thought that he played really well. Yeah. Thought he ran the ball extremely hard, uh, you know, throughout the night. Great I job. thought PJ played a uh, played a good game, good assignment football, and um, you know, good job spilling that play there to uh, to the outside backer, and um, mm -hmm. did a lot of good things. Malachi Thomas, who's just a ninth grader, got, got an opportunity to uh, uh, return some punts for us, and mm -hmm. good throw and catch there out of uh, JB and yeah. O'Neill. 
And, uh, you know, again, we got, uh, got a little something going. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, this is just one of those things where we've got a, uh, uh, got to make another play or two here to, uh, to finish this drive. We had a, had a couple of penalties and, uh, that, uh, that set us back and put us in, uh, put us in third and long. And uh, they, uh, they kind of tee off on us there and, uh, and move, uh, you know, it seems like so many times this year that we've had to play from behind the sticks. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we need to, uh, need to be better on early downs and we need to, uh, need to eliminate some of the, the penalties and, and things that, uh, that we're getting in those areas. Great job there, reacting to the throw. Yeah, they they were a big RPO team, and um, and the kid does a good job executing those things. Uh, but we uh, we did a good job holding up against uh, you know the things that uh, the things that they threw at us. For those who are not don't speak football leagues, can you briefly explain what an RPO is? Yeah, it's a run pass option. So a lot of things that you see them doing as far as uh, running the ball, throwing the ball, it's it's both. You know, it's a, a run pass option. So he's reading a defender, and uh, based on what the defender does, mm -hmm. either running or, or throwing the ball. Okay. All right. Get the touchdown pass there. Decide to go for two. Do a good job getting uh, getting our hands up, and getting the uh, getting the ball batted down. And uh, like you said, uh, we had a had a good night uh, when we got opportunities to return to football. They, uh, you know, their their front three, like I said, were uh, were big kids, and uh, we, you know, they are they're good football players. Yeah. Good, uh, good run there out of O'Neill on the uh, on the zone read, getting the ball out on the perimeter. And then we, uh, you know, get in. Uh, Getting another situation where behind the six, yeah, and you just gotta gotta find a way there. Mm. No, I th I thought that the uh, that the back was uh, really underrated, and, and you know I thought this uh, this ball was you know two yards behind the guy. We yeah. don't get the call, and uh, you know that's a a part of the game as well, and um, gotta be able to overcome, overcome those things we do um, but still you know it's a uh, it's a, a 30 yard change in in field position there did a good job with our uh, with our fast screens and uh, trying to get the ball out on the perimeter give ourselves a chance and um, O'Neill on the uh, the inside zone there for uh, gets it up to a third makeable and Muscles way for uh, for a couple yeah. more there for the uh, for the first down. You know, I think uh, Luke has done a really good job when he's come in and uh, been very effective uh, in the things that we've asked him to do. And this is uh, you know yeah, this great is job type, there. Type of running that uh, that Durante gave us all night and uh, just uh, good physical football and. Uh, did a did a really nice job for us. Get it outside. Good, good job blocking on the perimeter. Down that's here, a, you know that's what you. Uh, a lot of people don't see. Everybody sees the guy carrying it, and, but uh, did a good job blocking on the perimeter there, uh, with uh, Clay and PJ and JB, uh, getting out there and uh, giving him the blocks that we needed on the perimeter. Great job, it's keeping the play alive here. And and. It's a good job out of Dickel on the back end, uh, reversing back and giving him a, uh, a good a target to throw it to, yeah. and uh, just a, a good play out of those two kids, and and, and you know the protection was good and on that here's play the, as well. Here's the play you're talking about. We'll get a get a squib, it bounces off of him, see me and hustles down there and gives us a uh, gives us an opportunity at a uh, an extra possession. A nice play here. Yeah, great job here. Shows, uh, you know, I thought O'Neill showed some some poise and some savvy in the pocket, and uh, you know, Malachi does a good job catching that ball and getting it down the sidelines, and then Dropping. we just got to hang on to the football. And seven gets loose. He has two big plays right in a row. 
Yeah, and I thought, you know, he was an underrated back going into the game. I thought he was a, a good player for them. And quarterback has, you know, hurt people with, uh, with, his, with his feet all year mm -hmm. long and, um, you know, with his arm as well. And, and talking with their coach uh, before, before the game, he felt like this was one of the better quarterbacks that, uh, that, you know, that he's had. Yeah. We got a, we got a bust in the coverage and um, let a guy behind us. And, uh, you know, and they, when you get against a good football team, you just yeah. can't do those types of things. And, uh, you know, they – uh, yeah. Make us make us pay for it. Again, another great kickoff return here. Yeah, he gets the ball outside this time, and uh, again, you know, gets the ball out to almost midfield, right at midfield, and uh, gives us a you know a great start and field position. Got away with one. A lot of the things that we do in our run game are, you know, read type plays. It's a good play out of, out of crew. Yeah. And, uh, you know, again, O'Neal showing uh, some poise uh, in the pocket, being able to move and extend a play and being able to find a guy. And then, you know, you get a ball that gets, uh, gets batted up in the air twice and, uh, Guy comes down with it on the uh, on the six yard line, and that's a you know a big turning point in this ball game because right. we're we're right there on the verge of uh, you know going in and and actually I think at this point taking the, taking the lead. Read there. You know, all year long our defense has continued to get better and better, and, uh, you know, there's still uh, certain areas that we need to improve at. But one thing that we are getting better at is, is we're getting better at playing with our hands up front. Mm -hmm. We're getting better at our fence and understanding those fits. And we're getting better with getting bodies to the ball. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's where you start in playing defense is just watching and seeing how many bodies you, you get to the ball. Okay. 21-7 at the half, and really – the ball game is a whole lot closer than that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it uh, it felt closer. Yeah. You know, it really did, and uh, we just need to, uh, like I said, make make a couple of those plays. There. All right, we come back. We'll look at the second half highlights, and then we'll talk about uh, tonight's game with East Jackson, the regular season finale. You're watching Inside Hart County Football with Coach Rance Gillespie. The Hart County College and Career Academy provides new and improved learning opportunities to students in our community. With new technology and new equipment in every classroom, students have the resources to ensure a better education. We guarantee that the Hart County College and Career Academy will further prepare students for their future and their careers. Hart County College and Career Academy, preparing students for their future. The Hart County High School 5th and Campbell store is selling t-shirts during home football games. Come by and buy a gray shirt for $15 or a black and white shirt for $20. We will be at the front gate. All proceeds go to the store run by Hart County High School students. Hart County High School is about academics, sports and training, Bulldog Chow, reading, teamwork, brilliant minds, preparing for the future. Hart County High School is the school made for us. Welcome back. You're tuned in to Inside Hart County Football, brought to you each week by Pierce Bill Holmes. Coach, 21-7 at the half. I talk some of the guys on the radio, I felt like, you know, you hit, missed the turnover right there before the half. But you get the ball game, you get the ball to start the third quarter. I kept thinking back to Stevens, how big that first drive was going to be. Right. No question. And, uh, you know, it, it did feel a whole lot like that, uh, you know, like that game uh, where if, um, 
you know, if, if we could just hold where we were defensively, that we would get something going offensively and, and get the points that we needed in order, to, uh, in order to win the football game. All right, let's look at the third and fourth quarter. Monroe kicking off. Again, we get a, uh, get a good solid return here. And, um, you know, we're, we're fitting things uh, correctly, and that's the reason you see the, uh, the soft spots in the defense. Mm -hmm. Great cut there. We're, in, you know, close to making a play there. And, uh, just got to, uh, got to get that ball a little bit further in front and, uh, and, and you know, make a catch. Yeah. Okay, Monroe gets the ball right inside Hart's territory, and he go back to the rick, getting two on the corner. Again, you know, uh, if you watch us up front and the way that we're we're fitting things with our hands, starting to do some of those things, uh, we, you know, we can't give up the edge there. But you know, for the most part, we kept uh, kept him inside of us and in front of us, uh, you know, throughout the night. And that was certainly a guy that we did not want to. Uh, allowed to get outside or, or behind us. Good pressure there. They, uh, you know, I thought their, their wide outs caught the ball extremely well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and he, uh, he placed a couple of balls uh, really well. We just lost some of them. having a little bit of technical difficulty. All right, we'll come back. Good pressure there. Great job. Yeah. Initial pressure and second pressure. Yeah, I thought Kirby gave great effort on that play and uh, was able to battle through a, uh, a blocker and uh, a great interception uh, here by Jordan. And it's a big, big play in, uh, in that game. And uh, we got the call for, uh, for pass interference uh, from, uh, from one of the guys in the back. Uh, Jordan obviously didn't uh, didn't mm -hmm. touch him, and uh, you know made a uh, made a great play on the on the ball, and uh, you'd have to rewind it several times. But it, you know, again, that's a, a part, part of the game, the, uh, a part of the game, and uh, something that we've got to be able to overcome. Again, another kickoff return. And try to force something yeah. here, and he just needs to take uh, take, take the take, channel and go. Take what. Um, Take what the return gave him, and um, and he did a great job with that for the most part throughout the night. Good patience there. Yeah, find Deacle over the middle and um, get the ball moving down the field in a positive direction. Moving, uh, you know, in, in, playing on grass and uh, you know different surface for some of our kids, and that that really has not been a factor for us. Uh, uh, all year, and nor was it uh, nor was it Friday. You know, a lot of people try to make that into something, but uh, you know the way turf is now is uh, it's really not a whole lot different yep. than uh, than playing on a really nice grass field. Uh, you know, the thing that uh, the thing that the turf gives gives us is a is a solid surface mm -hmm. um, all the time. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, one of those that uh, gets tipped up and go either mm -hmm. way, and uh, you know their guy comes down with it. And again, you know they uh, they they have the ball on their their own fifteen. And, and it, to be honest, it, you know on that particular play, yeah. uh, it's it's as good as a punt. Mm -hmm. You know we're going to take a uh, take a shot on on third down and uh, try to try to move the ball down the down the field. And it doesn't work out for us. They make a good play. You get an offensive interference call there. He, uh, you know, he extended the hand, and it, normally, anytime you do that as a, uh, as a receiver, you're gonna get that called. Great catch there on the ball running away from him. Miss the block there on the uh, on the screen, and later on we make it and get a solid gain, um, and uh, are able to uh, able to move the ball. Good throw and catch, and 
then we, uh, you know, we were, were able to move the ball and run into power a little bit, which was really exciting. And uh, again, good physical run, and it's, it's great yeah. effort there out of Cayman Rucker Get back getting on out the on the getting out on the ball. Great cut there. Malachi has, uh, you know, been a uh, been a solid back for us as well all year, and you know the fact that he's uh, he's able to do some of the things that he's doing, and just in the ninth grade is uh, is really encouraging for mm -hmm. us. We'll t turn it over there on downs, fourth down. Good play out of Simeon on the uh, on the perimeter, feet in the block, and getting out, and you know tackling a, an athlete in space, which. You know, it's what uh, it's what so much of this game has uh, has turned into. Mm -hmm. You know, used to, um, I don't, you know, people say that kids don't tackle as well as as well as they used to, and I don't know that I necessarily agree with that. I think kids have to tackle better in today's game than uh, than what they used to because everybody ran the ball inside where it was confined and didn't have to tackle in space as much as you do in today's game. Uh, with the uh, all the the spread offenses and those things, you you have to be able to tackle in space, and uh, you know that's a a lot more difficult to do than uh, when teams are running in between the tackles. The game has really evolved from, like you say, playing in the '60s and '70s when it was played in a phone booth right. in comparison to the today's game. Yeah, most teams were you know two tight ends and uh, and run the ball uh, in between the guards, and it was uh, pretty confined. Yeah. Ball back. O'Neill did a good job yeah, taking what moving he could the get. ball you know, when he had to. This is a really nice job Execution. on the option play uh, for us. And, you know, the, he, the option takes so much work. Uh, it really does. It takes a, you know, a tremendous amount of uh, reps and uh, all the different looks that you can get with it. So, you know, we have not gotten into it as, you know, probably as much as we would like to um, this year. But, uh, you know, when we have, we've at times we've uh, we've been pretty effective with it. Near miss there. I mean, great play by O'Neill getting up and making that throw. Almost uh, yeah. you know, came down with another one, and you know, go again. Uh, one of those things where uh, you know call that uh, can go go either way. Good defense, you know, fitting the uh, fitting the off tackle, and again, our our kids are you know continuing to play hard, trying to get us the ball back and uh, give us an opportunity to uh, go down and, and score and. Uh, Great play here. Mm -hmm. Kirby goes in and uh, gets the block. And, yeah, uh, we're gonna get the ball here at the uh, at 44. the 45. So, um, you know, an opportunity for our offense to uh, drive down and put a couple of points on the mm -hmm. board and continue to uh, you know try to uh, get into their lead a little bit. Decision is to throw the ball away. Can't take the snap. Take the sack now. Right. No, you can't take a sack in this situation, a two-minute situation. And it's, uh, you know, the last thing that you want to do. Um, I thought that was a really good job out of Jalen finding his way inside the backer and mm -hmm. good patience out of O'Neill and, and good good protections to a uh, to allow O'Neill the, the time. Beautiful throw there. A really nice throw and uh, catch out of Deacle, uh to, uh, you know, give us a score. And, you know, again, uh, we, we've got a, got a chance. This is really, beautiful here. Really good execution out of our uh, out of our bunt on side, and uh, Tucker has really worked at that and really uh, gotten uh, gotten pretty good at it. Comes back with a great play on third down to get the first down here. Yeah, he gets uh, gets loose on the scramble and uh, you know able to. Uh, Find a way uh, to uh, to get us a get us a first down. It's actually the next one play. here. Yeah. 
breaks one or two tackles and makes a guy miss and then turns it up. And just, you know, continuing to find ways to uh, just, just stay around, stay in the game, and uh, give us an opportunity. Yeah. You said all year he throws the deep ball extremely well. He does. He's been uh, been very good with the deep ball, and uh, he's got good placement, good touch on his deep ball. Great job with the screen here. Yeah. And get to, get the block out on the perimeter. And uh, again, we just we got to hang on to the football. Mm. And then they get they get it back, and they can uh, you know take an A to, to okay. close Closing. it out. All right. Tonight is East Jackson. Tell us about the Eagles. Well, uh, you know, in a lot of places they've got a young football team. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a young quarterback that, uh, you know, they they're had growing pains with throughout the year, but he's a good player. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they've got, uh, got two defensive tackles uh, that are uh, probably both about 270 pounds, uh, two uh, really good-looking kids that, uh, that play very well for them. Uh, offensively, they're in a, in a spread offense. Uh, they've got a new coach there this year. I'm sure everybody is, uh, you know, excited about him being there and the things that, uh, you know, they'll, they'll do as they move forward. Um, you know, defensively, they're, uh, they're uh, in an odd front, which mm -hmm. it seems like everybody we've played this been year some form of it. has been, you know, an odd front team. And certainly everybody in the region mm -hmm. has been an odd front team. So uh, a lot of the things that we will see um, in the game will be, you know, things that, that, that we're familiar mm -hmm. with. And, of course, everybody's got their, their own take to it, their, uh, their own, uh, you know, touch that they put on put on that defense so it's kind of like saying uh you know a team's a spread spread offense everybody's got their version of the spread uh, a lot of teams are you know more physical and uh run the ball out of the spread a little bit more and some of them some of them throw it but uh you know they uh um, they've got some big guys up front that we'll have to do a have to do a good job matching up with okay so tomorrow night well tonight rather it's senior night yeah. 19 young men when you think back to, to on these guys, what's going to be the uh, in your thoughts? What's going to be the legacy for this bunch of seniors? Well, you know, I, I told them on Wednesday afternoon uh, that uh, that regardless of you know of what happens, they'll always be my first senior class mm -hmm. at Hart County. So that that's always uh, a, a little something special. And, uh, and a special bond. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud of, you know, the, the work that they put in this season. And, uh, you know, certainly things uh, have not gone uh, as well as we would like in the, in the win-loss column. Uh, but the one thing that they have done is they have managed to um, handle that adversity, continue to line up and play hard, and uh, and you know they're uh, they're they're a playoff bound team, so uh, we need to uh, need to play really well uh, in the game against East Jackson, and um, and get a little momentum going into the playoffs, and then once you're in, it's the you know, second every, it's zero zero for everybody. Yeah, who knows what can happen. Okay, all right, seven thirty kickoff, senior night. Need a giant crowd here to say thank you, as we said, the nineteen seniors. For Coach Rance Gillespie, this is Doc here saying thank you, good night, and we'll see you all next week on Inside Hart County Football with, uh, brought to you by Pierce Build Homes. Thank you for watching Inside Hart County Football. This has been a production of Hart College and Career Academy video production class.